Now we've done a very similar derivation twice. At the population level, we show that the variance can be expressed as the expectation of x squared minus mu squared. We showed that the numerator from the sample variance can be expressed as not just the sum of the differences between the xi's and the x bars, but as the sum of all the squared values in the sample minus n times the mean of the sample squared. And just as was true in the population case, the parentheses matter, the point where I pause matters. And to make these two quantities parallel better, note that I could divide this by m minus 1 and think about dividing each of these quantities by m minus 1. And then there's more similarity between these two. But I'm going to go ahead and erase those 1 over m minus 1s because it's easier to use this particular equation in derivations if we don't go ahead and divide everything by m minus 1 until the end. We will use these two ideas. In order to show that s squared is unbiased for sigma squared, what we have to show is that the expected value of the quantity s squared is equal to sigma squared. And I'm putting a question mark here, even though I know this is true. I'm putting the question mark here because this is what we're trying to show. Remember that s squared is equal to 1 over m minus 1, sum over the sample of xi minus x bar squared. So first we'll focus on taking the expectation of this summation, and then afterward we'll put in that m minus 1. And we know that m minus 1 won't be a problem because of the linearity of expectation. The expected value of s squared is equal to 1 over m minus 1 times the expected value of this thing. So this is certainly the tricky part. So we'll start with this, the expected value of the sum over all the values in the sample of xi minus x bar squared. And the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this quantity that's now inside the expectation using the trick that we have derived. So we're going to rewrite this as the sum of xi squared minus n x bar squared. Now I'm going to use the linearity of expectation. So this is equal to the expected value of the sum of the xi squareds minus, n is just a constant, the expected value of x bar squared. In this first term, I'm going to use linearity of expectation again. I get to switch the sum and the expectation, because the expected value of a sum is a sum of the expected values. That's the linearity property. So I get to write that I have the sum over all the values in the sample of the expected value of xi squared. minus n times the expected value of x bar squared. At this moment, we're going to use the property we derived twice. I've got the sum over all the values in the sample of xi, the expectation of xi squared. What is that equal to? It's equal to the variance of xi squared minus the mean of xi squared. That's what we've shown. So this is equal to sigma squared plus mu squared. Minus n times the expected value of x bar squared. Now I'm going to use the property again. The expected value of x bar squared is equal to the variance of x bar, which we remember is sigma squared over n, plus the mean of x bar, which is just mu, squared. And we're almost done. There's no more i's in these quantities. So this is just equal to n sigma squared, because we added up the sigma squared n times, plus n mu squared, minus, these n's cancel, minus sigma squared, minus n mu squared. We should have some cancellation going on here, here, and here. So what are we left with? This is equal to sigma squared times n minus 1. In other words, if I take the expected value of this summation, I get sigma squared times n minus 1. And therefore, if I take the expected value of s squared, which is equal to the expected value of 1 over n minus 1 times this summation, 
I get 1 over n minus 1 times the expected value of the summation, which is equal to 1 over n minus 1 sigma squared n minus 1. S squared is unbiased for sigma squared. And the key term, the place where this minus 1 came from, is right here. And that's the part we'll focus on as we try to understand what's happening.